I'm sorry. That's where I want to start. I want to say I'm sorry. I made a mistake. Uh, never should have said Wind Waker and Twilight Princess were going to be there. Uh, I became pretty unsure that that was going to happen between when we first talked about it and when the direct happened. But by then, it was too late. Every single headline was saying, hey, this guy says it's going to be there. So um felt like I kind of had to write it out because I also didn't know for sure it wasn't going to be there. But I definitely did not confirm it was going to be there. And we made a mistake saying it was going to be. So I want to kind of I kind of wanted to explain what happened, uh, why it happened, and why it won't happen again. So I'm Jeff Grubb. If you don't know, I am a reporter. Guess I was kind of still am. Uh, I work over at Giant Bomb now, where I do a daily news show, and I also do my own podcast, which is where we originally talked about this rumor. We did it on Last of the Nintendo Dogs. And what happened is uh, someone uh, that we were talking to, me and my co-host Mike Minotti. Uh, had a pretty good line on what's going on, and we made a mistake. We misheard is actually how it went. That's not to let us off the line, let us off the hook. Um, mistakes aren't okay, actually, in this business. This this line of work, um, it, you, you make a mistake, you get it wrong, people stop trusting you, and that's only fair. And so this is not me trying to skirt responsibility. I'm just explaining what happened. We misheard uh, where uh, the the name and the and Zelda 2 and all that stuff was going to show up with, with, with a trailer. And while that was happening, we were also having a conversation about the ports. And those things got conflated. And that was something that we could have then checked and verified, and none of this would have happened. But we talked ourselves into believing it. And we didn't want to... Um, it just felt like it was so easy to go along with the flow there. And that is where the biggest mistake happened. If we would have just stopped, taken a breath, and done what I always do for leaks, which is don't really talk about them until they are verified. Now, if someone asks me a question and they say, what do you think? Well, I've heard this, but I can't confirm it. And people have gotten very good at parsing that when I explain it to them. Um, especially, you know, a lot of people write news stories based on the, uh, st the stuff we say on podcasts. They've gotten very good at knowing when I'm saying something I've confirmed and the way that we phrased it with, I mean... We said 100 things like 100 percent and should be there and um that just wasn't true it wasn't true we made a mistake we should not have done it so in that conflation process we were you know we were hearing other things uh metroid prime coming this holiday was something i also heard you're probably thinking like okay well it's not just zelda also metroid prime along the lines like along uh when we were doing all these predictions when we were saying what would be there I never said Metroid Prime would for sure be there. I said it should because it's coming this holiday. That is still my understanding that Metroid Prime is coming this holiday and that you should be able to get it for Switch and it will be a remaster, a very significant upgrade to Metroid Prime 1 and just Metroid Prime 1. Now, why they didn't show it at the Direct is very confusing to me. I don't get it. And maybe, maybe it's because... Maybe it's because it's not real, and maybe because it's not coming. That is a possibility, but I want to state that if that's the case, it's very different than what happened with Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD ports for the Switch coming from the Wii U. There, we made an actual mistake. We made an error. We screwed up. We, we misheard something, and then we didn't check. That is not what has happened with Metroid Prime. It is something we have checked, and we have been able to say that this does seem like it's real, and it wasn't us mishearing and so it's very strange to be in a situation where we go in that direct and um, nothing happens with Metroid Prime. Now, my hypothesis here in this is just speculation. I don't know. My guess here is that they were they knew they were going to focus on, well, farming games, of course, but they knew they were going to focus on Breath of the Wild. I'm sorry, Tears of the Kingdom. I'm still not used to the name. They knew they were going to focus on Tears of the Kingdom and they didn't want to sort of bring down the mood by talking about Metroid Prime in general, because you probably can't go into a Nintendo Direct and say, here's Metroid Prime, not 4, but Metroid Prime 1 Remaster. And then everyone says, well, where's Metroid Prime 4? You kind of feel, if you're Nintendo, you have to address that. You have to talk about that. So they probably didn't want to have that nuanced conversation during a Direct about what is happening with Metroid Prime 4, when they could just focus on Tears of the Kingdom, a bunch of other games, they filled this up with 40 minutes worth of stuff, 
they could come back in a few weeks and maybe give us some more information about Metroid Prime 1 remaster then. Still, though, I get if that doesn't feel like it passes the sniff test. And if you were skeptical of that, that reasoning, I don't blame you. It's weird. Nintendo is weird, though. Uh, and, you know, and maybe there's other factors at play that I just don't, I don't, I can't possibly guess at. Uh, I think that maybe Nintendo is starting to be kind of weird about announcing games because they are looking at the next hardware, whether that is a Pro or a Switch 2. I'm leaning back towards a Pro, but I'm, that is speculation again. I don't know. I don't, I've never, ever had any rumors about a Switch Pro. That was never me. I have zero idea. So if it happens, please no, don't give me any credit. I wouldn't deserve it. I've never talked from a place of having the sources regarding the Switch Pro. That said, I'll speculate about it just like everybody else. Um, I'm back towards speculating that a Switch Pro comes out in 2023. I, I, I mean, that's just a guess. And I, I will be wrong if I'm wrong, whatever. I don't really care. That's just a guess. Um, but if, that, if that's the case, it feels like it makes some sense about why Nintendo is being a little bit strange about how they are going to pursue putting games out in the future. Um, where, you know, they, want, they maybe they want to save stuff to put all, alongside this next Switch. They did that with Metroid Dread with the Switch OLED. Maybe they want to have even more to go along a Switch Pro because that's sort of like a new, like a quasi-generational jump for them. Um, and that might be the way that they're going to do it going forward. So if that's the case, they might be behaving in a way that is very difficult to predict. It might be very challenging to look at the way they are doing, putting together their, their directs, the way that they're doing their, uh, their tweet announcements, their YouTube videos, and saying, well, uh, all of this makes sense. This is how they're behaving because this is how they always have behaved. I think what's happening is they are about to operate in a way they've never operated before. They are going to begin looking at a step-by-step -step update pr update process for the Switch where we get a Switch Pro, and then uh, several years later, three to four, we get another Switch upgrade that begins leaving the, the previous generation behind, maybe two to three years. I, I Honestly, I don't know. This is just guessing, but it feels like that's possible. And if that's the case, Nintendo is probably just sort of feeling in the dark, trying to figure out what to do next. And so it's creating these odd situations where... We get a direct that feels a little off. It feels like there are things missing, even though it has a ton of stuff in there. But, you know, and that comes off a, a summer where they didn't have a direct. And instead, they had a series of smaller announcements, something that we talked about on Last of the Nintendo Dogs way back in May before anyone else. We said that that would happen. And even then, even as that was happening, even as I had heard that's what would happen, it was strange to go through the direct, go through the summer and not get a general direct. Instead, just get the partner direct in the back half of June, right? And now here we are with the you know coming up a full direct, which I was pretty happy with. But still, I'm like, why, why not have Metroid Prime in there? And then honestly, to speak to Zelda, Twilight Princess, and Wind Waker HD, why not put those games out? It is bizarre at this point. If Tears of the Kingdom, still struggling to say the name is coming out in May. Would that not give you an opportunity to put out that dual pack or at least one of those games in something like February or January or March in that first quarter of next year, even December? There's not a lot coming out in December for the Switch. You know, put one of those games there. It's, um, I, I can't, I, I, that I honestly just cannot explain. Now, of course, they did put out Majora's Mask on uh, N64, Nintendo Switch Online, so they did put a Zelda game for the Switch this year, if you want to count that. Uh, but and, and the reason I bring that up is Nintendo in the past has said that they want to have one big major Zelda release per calendar, or per fiscal year, in perpetuity, forever. And they've done that for like eight, eight years, nine years, something like that. They've done that for many, many years in a row now. Uh, and we are getting to a point where it seems like that's they're probably going to break that streak a little bit, if you don't count Majora's Mask, which I, I don't. So yeah, what, what is like the big lesson learned here? So I said I, early in the video, you know, I said, what happened? We made a, made a mistake, we misheard, and we did not confirm, and we got caught up in the hype, and we misled a bunch of people, and there is no one to blame except for me on this one, really. Uh, Mike was saying a bunch of stuff, but Mike is not... He, he, I was the one who's supposed to step up and say, no, but hey, actually, I, I messed up. I didn't confirm this, and I didn't. This is on me. 
So how does how do we make sure it doesn't happen again? We we are not going to be talking about leaks ever again that we cannot confirm in any way that sounds like confidence, that sounds like certainty, that sounds like assurance. And and if we see what happened with with Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, if that begins happening again, I am going to be adamant about stepping up and trying to correct the record at, as I become like just to make sure people know my level of certainty. If I say something and it comes off like I'm sure, and then I see a headline saying, you know, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess direct coming. I'm going to be like, I will reach out to the author of these stories and I will try to correct the record and say, hey, can you put this quote in there to say, hey, actually, uh, I'm not as certain as this makes it sound um, and people should be aware of that. Now, I don't feel like I'll ever be able to completely fight back against the narratives that get created, but I could have controlled more here and I didn't. And in the end, it was a big blunder. And honestly, it's uh, it sucks. I feel terrible. Um, But, you know, what are you going to do? I am going to keep doing my best to do my Game Mess Morning Show on Giant Bomb and do Last of the Nintendo Dogs and Game Mess Decides on my channel to speak to my audience. And that means I'm going to try to answer the questions they want answered. And usually that does involve like, what is happening next, but my audience is also very interested in why it's happening next. And the big thing about the Wind Waker, the other, one of the other big things about the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess thing is that... um. Just saying that they were going to be in the direct didn't really answer many why questions. Um, didn't it didn't like illuminate why decisions get made in the industry, and that's another thing I'm going to try to avoid. If I have a leak, and it's just a leak for a leak's sake, we will probably not be speaking to that very very frequently unless we feel like we can bring something to it to the conversation by talking about it. Um, I think that happened with like Dead Space, I, I think was one that I had where we talked about that. We talked about why EA is making the decision to, to go fully back into Dead Space once again. And if you go back and listen to those conversations I had, I think at the time that was on um, Grub Snacks on Giant Bomb. If you listen to that, it's very much here is why EA is doing this. And I think if you if you listen to this and you look at if you think about why they're doing a Dead Space and you look at the wider market, with what Capcom is doing with Resident Evil and what uh, EA has had happen with Jedi Fallen Order and why they're putting Vince Zampella in charge of so much stuff. I think you could figure out that the industry is maybe trying to figure out a way to go forward with single player games while still doing their big live service stuff at the same time. And that is fascinating to me. I think it's fascinating to my audience. Um, and that's where I want to keep being. So don't worry. I'm not, well, maybe, maybe you would be happy if I would shut up, but if you don't want me to shut up, don't worry. I'm going to keep at it for the most part. Um, just going to be more careful in the future. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So yeah. Okay. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please let me know if you want to, if you're mad at me also, please feel free. Like I'm a critic at heart. And my big thing is if I can go on a podcast and talk shit about some video game that someone worked on for years, uh, you should be able to go in the YouTube comments and talk shit about why I'm, I'm a bonehead and why I messed up and why what I do is bad or what I did was bad. I think that's only fair. So if you want to air that out, feel free to do so here. Uh, just don't um, attack each other, really, and try to avoid slurs, I guess. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. I'm glad I got to do this video. I hope you have a good one. Have a good weekend. Have a good week. Take care of yourself, have a good one, and goodbye.